Ken Roxon, you want everything, but well, almost everything, that Vince Free second moto. You made it quite exciting for the fans. Those bad starts probably aren't what you wanted, but for the fans it was good racing. How do you sum it up? Yeah, it was difficult. I mean, uh, uh, after the gate it was really hard packing. The, uh, the star straight is really short, and uh, I haven't done a whole lot of stars. I've been riding some motocross, and I rode one day a supercross, and kind of just neglected it a little bit, and, and just felt a little bit like a fish out of water when it came to that. So that won't happen for the next round. We have a, uh, a long time right now, so I just got to get those dialed in a little bit, and uh, we got a great crew behind me, so we have some ideas we want to do to the motorcycle as well to uh, just improve it, you know, but overall, I struggled really badly here with jet lag the last three days, so I was, ex today was probably the worst day out of all of them. Um, I was extremely tired. And um, I was really like nonetheless once it comes race time ride you want to you want to put down your focus So I was ready to, to fight no matter what but it was tough as I was really bogging down at some point and try to get in a little nap and um, I'm glad that I guess this race is over and we're, we're healthy and, and I got the W on top of that so This was a tough one for me like I don't remember Struggling that bad last year, but I was also here for like 10 days because we went and went to London So I had a little bit more time to adjust and got some proper sleep and I didn't really ever get that here so that was a tough one for sure. You were doing a triple out of the corner there before the actual triple I think you were the only one that I really seen do it at least consistently. How was that to do and why before do you think no one Yeah, the, like, that, out of the left hander yeah. Um, you were going wide and everyone else was sort of double triple and you were yeah, going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, it's just a berm kind of to rely on a little bit. You had to, it got really marbly. We had a lot of different types of dirt today. It started off really tacky, it got super dry and marbly. It was rocky out there. And then as it, as it kind of got darker, the, um, the moisture came back out. So it was a super funky, super funky track. Um, a lot of rocks, so you have to be really timid to, to, to go to the inside and sweep it around, you know. Um, but I just kind of try and be creative and, and kind of see what the, what's the fastest way. So I'm always trying to adjust. Your first laps are so impressive. Like as you said, you had bad starts, but you're just bang, 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 making the right decisions all the time. And the speeds there, how do you do that? I mean, you can do it outdoors, indoors, wherever. Yeah, I think it's just in my. Uh, I mean, I've done a lot of work, right? And, and when I'm comfortable on a bike, that's just something that you know. When you ride against stiff competition, it's what you have to do, you yeah. know. Uh, so, but like you said, it comes a little bit natural for me, especially in motocross. So as soon as the gate drops and you're back, you don't have much time, so you gotta lay it down, but it's track dependent too, right? And everybody can get a little sketchy, so you gotta be smart. And just finally on your dad, Ken, he's obviously done a great job with you, but he worked with Jet Lawrence as well. Two weeks ago, you were battling with him at High Point, and I kept thinking, I wonder what your dad's thinking, watching the TV at the front. What does he do for you, and what were his skills in getting I you mean, so good? I have to say a big time thanks to my dad for the way he raised me and stuff. So I, uh, you know, he took them under their wing and, and showed them the ropes, how he did it back in the day. And I think that's what they took over to the U.S. as well. And um, just a lot of guidance. And that's where it started. And then, you know, they were able to go off and do their own thing. So, um, yeah, it, it helps out. And your dad's been influential as well with you and Jeff. What, what is his big skill that have helped you? Uh, well, obviously, he, he's... He's got crazy good skills, and he's fit, he's strong, he's young, right? So, uh, and really hungry. Uh, but, you know, I try to work for myself, because eventually I'm going to have to beat him. You yeah, know? So, but yeah, obviously he's the new up-and-coming thing, so he's a tough one to beat. Good job, please.